Hi, um, I'm coming live as I always do on Wednesday at 1.30, but I haven't done any trailers for it, so I don't expect there's going to be anybody out there waiting to see me live. But if you are out there and you're watching, um, give me a hi so I know you're out there. Today I want to talk about hierarchies and judgment because I think they can have a huge impact on how we behave as performers. I think they can affect how we think and how we are physically. Um, and for me, it all relates to judgment. The reason we can sometimes have a hierarchy in our life is all around judgment, our judgment of ourselves. And the judgment is also as a result of the hierarchy. So I used to always feel when I walked into a room, I would take a look around and I would either feel better than people or worse than people. I would instantly put myself in the one up position or the one down position relative to the other people in the room. So if there was somebody holding court and looking really confident, I'd feel less than them. But if I saw someone shy and awkward in the corner, I would feel better than them. And that gave me permission to walk to the person look over and talk, talk to the person looking shy. Uh, but I felt nervous about going up to the person who was holding court and looking really confident. Um, and to put myself in that hierarchy, in a hierarchy like that, I had to not only judge myself, but judge those other people. And it was a, not a nice judgment, it was a critical judgment. Even though I thought, oh, you look really confident, there would also be this little element of jealousy. Why can't I feel that way? Why can't I look that way? Um, and so there was all this negativity going on. And I would do this when I was performing as well. Um, it would be if someone was performing before me, I would judge them. And um, if I thought, thought they were too, too good, hear the language, too good, I would go on after them thinking, well, I'm no good. And that would affect my confidence and it would affect my performance. Um, if someone before me was less secure, I might feel better about myself or I might wonder why I was in this place before me. Then all of these judgments would roll around in my head. And one of the things that helped me most was with this was something that's called life positions. Um, it's something I learned as a life coach, um, where you have four boxes. Um, in the first, uh, they're a grid. Maybe even draw it. Let me draw it for you. So, across the top, you have. I'm. I I can't remember the order. I don't think it matters. I'm okay. I'm not okay. And then on the other side, you have you're okay, you're not okay. Now, I don't know if this is mirrored. We'll find out. Yes, it looks like it's not mirrored. Um, and in these boxes, you see the um, I'm not okay you're not okay. This is sometimes referred to nicely as the suicide box. This is where we not only think that we're terrible, but we think that everybody else is terrible in the whole world. It's all gone to shit, frankly. Um, the opposite corner to that, I'll come to in a minute. The place where we spend most of our time is between these two boxes. So I'm not okay, you're okay, which is the one down position, and the you're not okay, I'm okay which is the one up position and we feel good in the one up position but often not secure and we feel bad in the one down position and sometimes it feels like home nirvana is the let me find the right box i'm okay you're okay box and the words there are quite significant for me i'm okay not I'm amazing, I'm brilliant, I'm perfect, I'm fabulous. Just I'm okay. Because the other part of it is very important too. You're okay. And when we can walk into a room 
believing that we're no better and no worse than anybody else. We might have more skills in one area or another. We might have fewer skills in a different area. But actually as human beings, we're both okay. It can change the dynamic. If we can feel okay in ourselves and let go of judging ourselves to know where we are in the hierarchy, that can lead us to let go of judgment of others. And that can help us let go of all of this tension that we can hold around where we are on the hierarchy. And this can relate, this tension can relate to not wanting to make a fool of ourselves. If we fundamentally believe we're not okay, then if we're not vigilant, we might make a fool of ourselves. We might be like one of those X Factor contestants who are terrible but don't realize it. When you relax, and start to feel okay about yourself. Then the physical tension goes, the mental clutter goes, and you're much, much more capable of being the best version of yourself and singing and performing to your, to your full capacity, um, to your, what's the word? As well as you can, let's put it in those simple terms. So have a think if you can, about when you walk into a situation or when you're preparing for a situation, which of these boxes are you sitting in? How much judgment is it taking to keep you in that box? And what would it feel like to be in the other, the, the nirvana, the I'm okay, you're okay? Now, sometimes there's resistance to being in the I'm okay, you're okay, because we don't want to just be okay. We want to be amazing. Part of that wanting to be amazing is wanting to be the, in the I'm okay, you're not okay box, because that, that can make us feel like it's safer. Well, I know I'm okay and everyone else is worse. Then I feel safe. But it's not really a nice place to be because we're looking down on everybody. And not only that, it doesn't create a good relationship with other people. It doesn't create a relationship where other people want to be with us. Um, and usually it belies insecurity. And often I'm okay, you're not okay looks like arrogance and is, is arrogance, which is essentially a form of insecurity. If we look at um, certain people in the public eye who tell everybody how brilliant they are, what geniuses they are, um, but then ask ourselves the question, does he really feel, does he or she really feel secure in that feeling? The answer is almost certainly no. So that I'm okay, you're not okay doesn't come from a place of security. It comes from a place of insecurity. Because any minute now, you might be deemed not okay, less than the other person. If we view ourselves and everybody else as equal, then that brings with it less judgment, less criticism, not only of ourselves, but of others, which is a nicer place to be. And more than that, it's a more effective place to perform from. Because when we don't feel other people are above us, other people are more capable than us. We have a greater capacity to look them in the eye. We have a greater capacity to feel equal to them and communicate to them as equals, which opens up that line of communication, which can be disarming and wonderful for the audience when people really engage. We don't feel the need to hide. We don't feel shame because we are just as good, no better than anybody else. And we have just as much right to stand on that stage as anyone else. Um, so that's what I would like you to think about this week. I hope you've enjoyed listening and I look forward to seeing you next week. <laughs>